on this point, though, as they look to dive again. Fissure safe, and Rio not. Yeah. No mobility versus mobility, huh? Although, John who does end up going down. Twilight is not that vulnerable, apart from Happy potentially finding the one clip, but he's going to go after Jehong instead. Good start for the charge. Neptuno also has that window, as well as Happy actually just contesting the point currently. Fisher gets frozen up, a free flip for the charge. And now, charge can do what they do best with this composition and just set up near the point or near a choke. Stitch is also going to go down as Happy from afar does do one damage and uh, finishes off Janu yeah, and adds it. a point to his stat. That was disastrous from Janu there. He tried to go through the, the doorway but got stuck. Didn't quite find the full momentum. Point does get flipped though, but Jehong and Fisher are already dead. Transcendence on the point to try and contest for a little bit longer, but the issue is now Charge are going to be on it with a couple of ults for themselves. Krong has got the Flux. Soman Su finds one. There's the Flux on the Meteor Strike. Goodbye, Tracer, as you get slammed down into the earth. Neptuno is going to find himself rather safe and well with the Transcendence hugging him to full life and Shu taking out Twilight and now the Titans have to get back as 10% before Charge take the map. Yeah, Vancouver tossed a lot in there too. Fissure had hit Primal Rage. He got either side. Another jump in here. A yeah, beautiful defensive this ball there so coming well. through. Yeah, Nero's just walling them all off. Happy has got Pulse Bomb. Has to go for that big recall though. Has to play a little bit more passive. Although I say that, he's just running into them right as well. Pulse Bomb straight onto the ball. Johnny ends up going down but takes Rio with him. Not bad at all, and she also ends up falling, and now Charge getting dissected in the back line. So Min Su coming up big with a kill onto Krong. Oh, oh, oh. Neptuno's gonna go down as well. Triple kill for the Doom. Now May popping into the block, punch into the wall. See you later, Nero, as Titans end up regaining control. 99% for the charge, though. What a hero play. Composition, though, does take a little bit of time to set up. Nero going down those disastrous. He was 10% away from that blizzard. Punch in from Somensu. Meteor strike available. Pulse bomb's big. Damage is huge. Titans are 10% away now from claiming this round. Janu finds two as well in Krong and Chu. This should just be it. Not entirely sure who can actually touch. As Happy is now dead. 99% ticks on over. The Titans are going to claim Sanctum on what looks like an almost impossible retake with Nero with temperature. Brig was, Brig was named the Tracer Eraser for a while. The Tracer, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Well, as you know, says uh, fare thee well to the rest <laughs> of the team. Johnny is and I'm gonna go down though, but now you can just kind of sit on the point. If you're Soman Su, you can just punch in and out, in and out, in and out. No one can chase you up and actually find the kill, though Happy does find Stitch. He goes Stitch in once more though. and is gonna go out once again. But the big hook, that's what you want to see. The Holt hook straight into the Roadhog. And Nero finds two kills. Charge now on the point, gaining control. Yeah, I mean, scared now, Titans are playing from around the point. Twilight's going to use the Transcendence to push everybody forwards, force people away. And now the Blizzard is going to be a threat to the Titans' defense here on this point. Coalescence again, getting LOS by the rest of Vancouver. A Stitch still trying to find an entrance. Kron getting a little bit bully, but Soman Su ends up kicking out Shu, almost the perfect pick, but both tanks are already dead, and the rally being sent out by charge as well. Everybody not really afraid of matching up against the Doomfist now. Soman Su has got the Meteor Strike, but can't really do much with it. Stitch, a little bit worse for wear, is gonna go fairly low, and Soman Su ends up going down. Should be a rather clean fight now for the charge, but Titans are still gonna make them pay for it. Jumping back on the point with the ball and Fisher. Stalling for a bit of extra time. Jimu eventually finished off, but a free 10% or so. It's not going to be too bad for the Titans. Yeah, you'd think in a, a, a straight onto Nero. They have to take him out. Soman soon recognizes that as well. Happy finds the one click. There's the pole straight out of the block. Nero again going down in the critical moment of this fight. They need to get back to the point, and he needs to be able to build out of Blizzard. Point gets flipped. Titans in control. They're all going pretty low, but Jae Hong using that rally armor in the front line and healing everybody up. But Happy once again trying to carry this fight solo, finding the pulse bomb onto Fisher, chasing down the second tank as well. As that supercharger gets laid down, as Charge find the flip. 99% and OT no now ticking through. No as Vancouver try and find their way onto the point, a one shot onto Stitch is going to be enough to take him out. And now every Q button has been hit by the charge. This should just be it. Happy falling and Fisher creating space. But is it actually going to be enough? I think it might be. Fisher finds two. Neptuno goes down. And Vancouver not out of this just yet.
He got two, and there's almost no damage for the follow-up here. Happy's been out of the fight. Kron's gonna have to do the damage. j will the, go down. It is The chaos. damage is gonna this come through, though. The coalescence is there, but Fisher finds his third kill of the fight and still alive somehow. Nero used the blizzard so early on, and now he's gonna go down once more. Happy, the only person in the kill feed for the charge right now, takes out Twilight, but the point has been flipped. A charge need to touch. Rio is there, and so is Happy. A meteor strike to do some damage, but so much Sue puts himself in such a risky position and he gets taken down in the end the scrappiness continues as the point gets flipped once more as charger now control happy is all over the place he's trying to bring it back the pulse one's gonna hit rio but right now it seems like the charger pulled it back a whole hog on the point there jaws they're pushing everybody off ot is gonna disappear so quickly and they eventually do it two three flips i think that was for both it's gonna look pretty good so Soman who's doomed this right now Looking for a brief engagement. Fisher B hopping to the bat line. He's going to get stuck though. 10 HP. There you go. Instantly disappears. And there you go. That's what a pulse one can do to your tanks in the front line. Don't always have to stick the DPS or supports, mind you. I'm looking at you, Tracers and Solar Q. Don't hold on to your pulse one forever. You can stick the tanks, chunk them down, and the rest of the team can finish them off. As Happy harasses Fisher in his spawn. Beautiful boob. Stopped uh, Soman from actually getting hooked. A lot of coalescence damage coming through as well top of every member from the Titans. Yeah, Twilight, you don't stand a chance, my son. It's the rest of Titans going down and 70% now building up for the charge. This is a very different story from what we saw previously, but it's just coming down to map geometry hex. I mean, it uh, the, oh, 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 Stitch is stuck in the ceiling. Well, Transcendence is going to save him. Save Janu as well. Yep. Supercharger coming out, though, right at the very end. Janu manages to escape alive, but <laughs> Fisher does not. Jumps in with a Primal Rage. Instantly killed off with a whole hog. And that'll be a Pulse Bomb on to Jehong. This looks as good as over for the charge. They're going to roll through the Titans. Comp completely outmatched. OT disappears. And Titans hope have taken this map as well. The charge will end up taking the pull the people that are trying to flank. Nanap Jr. uses one of his own, and yeah, a little bit better position there on the point, in fact, to chase away Jinmu. Perfectly corralled into, the, <laughs> into that small corridor. A Dragon Strike didn't do all too much, but Happy and Twilight end up trading. As I say, that a couple more kills come through, and now Rio isolated on the point as the Blizzard is launched in. Janu didn't really have much to say about that one, unfortunately. And this should be a rather easy roll now for the charge as the tanks from Vancouver do end up just getting rolled. Even just, you know what, just throw everything in. You know what? It's 5v3. Just throw everything in. Do we going to get the point anyway? Well, it was 4v3. Janu is on the high ground. See, he's going to get flanked. Has to be a little bit more careful. There you go. Bam. Up. Oh, rock misses. A lot of damage incoming. Another rock coming out. Oh, the freeze onto Kron. But Immortality Field saves him. Neptuno is going to go down, though. Twilight does manage to find the pick. So Minsu finds Krong also. Immortality Field is going to save him as well. Twilight finds yet another one in this fight. Not too bad at all. Nero just uh, sinks. Uh-oh. There's the window. That's a lot of damage. Nero is going to be able to just chunk people out, though. There's the flux up in the sky. Can they finish off any of these kills, though? The Transcendent is going to come in clutch for the charge. Happy will end up falling, and the cart is uh, being slowly moved by the charge. It finds two, but they still need to actually touch this payload. It's going to move on to the bridge, and Vancouver are going to find themselves in more of an attacking position at this point. So Minsu and Stitch do have ults available as they finally do end up touching the payload to contest, or well, at least they will in a couple of seconds. It's only a couple of meters from actually completing this second checkpoint. I mean, this is super oh. interesting. Goodbye, oh. Kron. Yoinked. Kron is off the edge. Bye -bye. I thought that the charge were going to be able to buy enough time to get people to get back in, and I think that might have been the plan. Just going to keep everybody alive. Reactive Transcendence from Twilight, though. Not sure how much healing it did actually get done. There's the Dragon Strike in the small corridor. That's all big immortality field, though, from Neptuno. It's going to save so many people. Charge now rushing on down, but they're going to rush straight into Soman 2 and Twilight's damage. Rio and Neptuno fall, and now 30 seconds remains for the charge. Titans are going to still be in control, and in fact, that's a that's one left alone uh, Nero. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh, operation! Oh, <laughs> oh, that missed some. Okay, I thought that hit. Oh, happy ends up going down though to Stitch from the from the back line. Immortality field up to try and save the point. Rio though dragged up in the air, quickly dispatched with, and that should just be it. Flux is gonna bring up everybody to the skies. Just before second point. Uh, <laughs> not as much as the hands, though, but still McCree pretty good at demolishing those. 
You need a little bit more than that, though, I'm afraid. That is a very big uh, wraparound from Charge. Twilight did not stand a chance. There's like six people on top of him in a moment's notice. Neptuno on the Lucio just aiding in that and uh, punching Fisher out of the sky. A tick claims, though, by the Titans. Uh, Charge do end up touching the point to stop that second one from coming through, but not a bad start. One minute for 61%. Think of a worse pick if you were the Charge right now. Your May end up going down against the May. Oh, Stitch. He's looking so clean on the hands, though. He's almost got that all of them available as well, but Twilight ends up getting one shot by the uh, the, the Fire Strike through the Amplification Mages, but Happy also goes down. Both TPS now dead. Nero's going to take a long time to actually get back to the point, plus has to basically walk past the Titans. Yeah, now Titans can basically slowly move their way on the point. There's the Shatter, only one down. Are they going to be able to do anything with it? That's a lot of damage down to Jaehong. He ends up falling, but Krong now finds himself in a horrible situation up against Stitch. And Somisu with the Blizzard on the point does find one. A beautiful <laughs> elevation. Oh my word. You thought Immortality Phil could save you? I think not. Happy ends up killing off Somisu, but Nero is still alive, but hasn't really got much to work with. Has to wait for his... Oh, and he gets skill-orbed. Unreal. Twilight ends up taking out Nero and uh, a beautiful cap from the Titans. In the high ground, it might be a uh, game-changing ultimate. Oh, oh Stitch again from the side. Didn't get frozen up at all. That was Charge's opportunity to kind of run on them with the Lucio. That Blizzard doing a lot of work now, creating a lot of space for Stitch to do that work. Done, and hey, would you look at that. They're going to get their payload moving, but Charge have got a lot of... A little bit of damage at the end. No kills. Oh, oh my god! What? Shu goes down. One healer available, and it's only Neptuno. Points still being contested. They're so close to landing this W. Five meters away. Krong ends up taking out Janu. That pick might have been what they needed, but the rest of Charge are going to come up big. Stitch now moving forward. Immortality Field is going to save them from uh, dying just for the moment. And uh, Fisher ends up going a little bit too aggressive and gets taken down. Stitch almost coming in clutch, but the Charge a little bit more quicker on the draw. They do end up white the music. Tempo is heightened and so is the damage. That's why, like, Coalescence ripping through the shields. Blizzard comes through in the back. Nero needs his. That Shatter going a little bit waylaid. This could just be it. Nero throws in his own Blizzard. But Janu ends up getting taken out by the Dead Eye. Oh no. Once again, Titan's so close to delivering this payload to that box of victory. But so, so far, Nero has just been so good at staying alive. It's a bit of a different story from what we saw in map one where he's getting taken out time and time again first. The Blizzard came in clutch. A ton of credit too. I mean, his immortality fields have been everywhere that they needed to be. Yeah, you hit it on the entry. Absolutely. Matrix for this last stop one. all that and damage coming through and stop them from uh, playing aggressive and burn the shield of fish as we can't play aggressive. There it is. There's Fishers the window. Instantly you see Fishy getting taken down. Double dink on the headshot. Shatter not available for the Titans now as the rest of them are going to fall. Targe, just unreal aggression up in the front. No way you're going to be able to survive that. Zhe Hong dragged off the edge, and there it is. Charge looking good. 2-0 in the series as they take Archenvolt. Twilight was almost just the bait there to try to get... Look at that. He's dead. He just dies. Well, there you go. And he almost has Pulse Bomb as well. Zhe Hong can't do anything. 200 HP shield and a dream. And Happy getting permanently armor packed as well, which means he ain't going down oh so quickly. One tick has already been acquired, or at least, uh, no, sorry, almost been acquired. They're like uh, uh, one pixel off. Coalescence being used early on. Happy has Pulse, they already have coal. This is a steamroll. Speaking of records, not going to be quite there just yet. They, they are looking so quick. Melee, oh, dodges out the way. Doesn't quite get the health back, though. So is just going to steal that. Happy is just on an absolute tear. Just go for it. Kill him. The dash. Can he get it again? Of course he can. Happy cleaning up the DPS line. Vancouver He's still going after it. Oh, and Fisher! He got caught. He had to use Primal Rage. Almost gets taken down as well. He should be okay, though, to get back to the rest of his team. There's a lot of free ult charge, actually, for uh, Shanghai Twilight. Supercharger Blizzard, they have everything up, but they forced out two ultimates that have gotten nothing so far. Uh, Three. Unfortunate. Uh, Janu dies in midair, and uh, Happy's still alive somehow. Fish is going to go down. I think this might just be it. I'm going to be honest with you. This comp is very good at holding the point. Jaehong's in the back line, still trying to duel Happy, who's refusing to die. There he goes. Eventually falls down to Zhu. And uh, the ball gets frozen again. Whole hog available. Coalescence going off. Three a minute plus time bank. There's the whole hog. Fisher, sayonara, straight into the frozen lake. Take a dip, my friend. Three minutes and 52 seconds. Charge with an absolute steamroll. The perfect voice line as well. 
Nero knew this was going to happen all along. The hang in there voice line being spammed. Unreal. Unreal tech. Both in and outside the server, Nero has it down. He has the customization down to a T. There's the speed boost straight on top of the Titans. Nice immortality field, though, to start them off with. But Janu does end up falling, and now Krong menacingly walking towards the Titans as the rest of them end up falling. That'll be it. Hang in there. Well, they're trying. Shatter happening. Hang in there, boys. Krong's got a shatter. There's the dead eye as well, straight on top. See you later. So Mitsu finds a kill. He There's killed Chu. Kills. Oh yeah. my goodness. <gasps> he's done it. He's broken. There's zero kills. Oh, he's going to die, though. That could have been a disgust. Well, it wouldn't have been that much of a stagger, but. Team kill. One minute. Gotten into this map so far. Dragon strike. Beautiful transcendence, though, to uh, navigate around that. Very defensive Blizzard. Not the biggest fan of that. I'm not sure Titans are either. Oh my goodness, though. But Shu from the side takes out Stitch. 40 si uh, 47 seconds now remains. Charge still sitting on the point. They got a couple of support ultimates as well to back them up with. And Krong just swinging for the fences. Jaehong is going to go down. And Titans still struggling to put themselves on this point. There is one more fight before they end up giving up this series 3 to 0 in what has to be. There's the window. Fire Strike's not going to connect. They're going to go around the side. Flux is going to come up. And now Happy launches into the air. Oh, it's so good though, but they don't touch. Oh, no. They don't touch. GG's all around.